I've been procrastinating. I don't feel like doing much, but I need to film a TikTok today. I'm going to... Fuck! I'm really forcing myself just to be in front of the camera because I really, really like doing this for you guys. I really want to do this, but I can't be bothered doing this. But I'm just going to prop you up and we're going to get into my day. Okay, less talking the better. So, um, some chicky, chicken thighs. I'll be doing this on the grill. Chugging that into a bowl. These are bone in too. Cheap, cheap as chips, actually. How much? Ten ninety nine or something? Nine seventy nine. Nine seventy nine, bro. How can you go wrong with that? Chicken in the bowl. We're gonna hit it with some olive oil. Just a little bit. I seen one person commented that they want uh, cooking directions or measurements, uh, time cooking and stuff like that. I will. I promise. I promise. Since you commented that, I will do my best because. It's so much easier just to go off the fly, but if it really helps you guys out that much, you gotta let me know, just like this beautiful person has done. So, I've got about a kg of chicken, I think that's over a kg actually, 1.1, 1.2, but if you just work on like every one kg, use a tablespoon of uh, olive oil, you'll be good to go. Now, you need to hit it with some acid, and why I love YouTube and stuff is because the level of just you really get to see how DF I actually am with cooking it's very unfiltered I usually use lemons but I don't have one so I'm going to be using this orange and using the whole one as long as you get the foundations right salt fat acid you're good you're literally good and you don't even need heat with recipes like uh, raw fish or any raw recipes but the difference is with this since I'm using an orange versus a, a lemon when we do get more volume out of it more liquid which is good because I love uh, the liquid acid situation usually if I when I'm doing this recipe I like go for two two lemons because not only does it give the sourness, it gives the acid to break down the proteins, making a tender product, tender, more tender food. Now with an orange, we get a lot of sweetness with this as well. And I think these oranges are pretty close to like a month old. A tablespoon of garlic powder that goes in. Don't want to do it. Don't want to overdo the garlic powder because this stuff burns. When it burns, it goes real bad. Six gun grill seasoning. I'm going in with probably like two tablespoons. This stuff is flavorful and super salty. So you really don't want to overdo it. And then thyme, which is uh, a tablespoon. That's how we're looking. Looks pretty delicious so far, right? And I think that's the magical part of marinades. It should be easy as to whip up. If it's not easy to whip up and it's a marinade, you've got the wrong recipe. My chicken's done, but I'm also supposed to make a hot cross bun recipe so if you're not following my instagram follow my instagram i chuck up polls stories and you guys get to have your say in you know essentially the variations of what i make so uh, today is switching between like a chocolate hot cross bun versus a traditional one and then it's like the most popular one kind of wins you know it's a bit of a democracy over there but if you don't vote, you don't get to have your say of what recipe wins or not. Traditional is winning at the moment, which is not good because I don't have the ingredients for it. Um, but at the same time, it's like, why is it winning? The hot chocolate ones are way better. So I've just kind of boosted it up, made another story to get all the chocolate, chocolate supremacists out there. Go have their say, go vote for it. You know, to be honest, we don't really like a whole lot of supremacists, but in a chocolate sense, then that's not that bad, is it? <laughs> I think that's the only kind of supremacy that I'll allow. Bro, people want to see a whole lot of rubbish, eh? So that's why I really want people to come to my YouTube and come hang on my YouTube, because it's like a lot more real. It's a lot more real. It's a lot less um, condensed. Like, uh, what's, what's the word? 
are rushed. TikTok very rushed. Like you can't even get a thought out unless you you just your brain's running. It's not even like your brain. It's just like, bro. If you have a whole, if you have a minute, you have one minute, and you have to captivate people's interest unless you're 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 magical like that. So it's one super cool thing that I saw today. I am so close to ten thousand subscribers. So thank you sub up if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed already it really helps me out a lot really helps my plan for world domination and wow oh, we're just having fun we're just kicking back you guys are hanging out with me i think that's the best part about it you guys are just hanging out or well, we're all hanging out that's seriously the best part so now i have to Get onto my hawker's bone, but I can't be bothered. And then have some breakfast. Here you go. You can see yogurt, banana. Banana is a bit brown, which is okay. In New Zealand, we need to give our kids in high school back their phones because they need to spend more time on TikTok. They need to engage in social media. Social media and business are literally intertwined like, like, like this social media is business business is social media and taking the phones away is just completely just the wrong move wrong tactic but you have to appeal to the seven year olds who are pretty close to senile so that's that i'll prop you down to the side and you get to see how i can film my tiktok i really i do want to give a little bit more effort after talking to you guys somehow you convinced me so we'll get into it i've got my mixing bowl my camera set up uh what is this flour chocolate yeast butter sugar egg getting all my ingredients prepped out just makes the process just so much easier and i'm real thankful that i was in a kitchen space because honestly prep is number one prep might not be the the funnest thing in the world but without prep it is just chaos but with prep, you have controlled chaos. And that is where art is born. People lay like it, but we're gonna break the door. <sighs> ah! Ah! Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you just really wanna just go crazy. I wanna go crazy. I wanna go crazy because I. Oh. I posted a poll in my story what do people prefer, traditional or chocolate? Too many people like traditional, so we're gonna make the best chocolate cross buns of your life. In a mixing bowl, add flour, salt, warm milk gets a tablespoon of yeast, a little bit extra for love. Mix, mix, mix. As long as you've got the foundations, you'll see it. Anyone can create content. I don't believe it's an exclusive space, just like how uh, in my cooking style, I make it as inclusive for everyone. And then obviously you get the purists. I get a lot of purists. Do it this way. No, you can't do it that way. Uh, make people mad on purpose. I have to make people mad on purpose. That's my job. Because people don't like when certain things they believe in gets broken. Or beliefs they get broken. Beliefs they believe that gets broken. But that's entirely what I've done for the last two years. And just breaking beliefs. Breaking beliefs. Breaking hearts. Making people's stomachs full. And I'm hungry as now. Just trust the process. It may not look pretty when you start, but it's... It will get there. It will get there. This is how outside is looking at the moment. Very grey, very dull. It's just been the day today, eh? But it's still a great day to be alive. And I'm having some grilled chicken tonight and some choripan. And bro, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've been waiting the whole day. I haven't eaten a lot. So I'm actually stoked. Um, it could be pouring down rain. A thunderstorm, lightning. I'll still be happy. Get some barbecue meats going on. Hey, sand flies are biting me, bro. What are they even doing out here? Heaps of people be asking how I clean my grill all the time. And bro, it's just heat. So I pre it on max for 10 minutes. No nonsense, just heat, scrub. Heat and scrub. If there's like any greasy bits, then I just go in with a paper towel, get rid of them. So like right here is like greasy ears. First up is Harmony Beef Manuka Honey and Hickory. Antonia absolutely loves these sausages because they are very, very sweet. 
So there's no method to this madness, it's just get it on the grill, put it on one side. Cooking on low heat. You can see all the liquid that's accumulated. This is just a mix of chicken, orange juice, the water inside the chicken. And we're going one at a time, just putting it on our grill. And that smell, I'll tell you right now. Can you guys smell that? Because I'm smelling just herbs, savory notes. Woohoo! A little bit of sweet orange juice. Yeah, nah. I am so excited for this. Just like this, this is our setup chicken thighs snags. Close the lid. Sausages will take eight minutes, so four minutes on each side. Uh, chicken, probably like six minutes on each side on low. Six to eight minutes. So there you go, there's that. Temps wise, I don't know. 180, 200? No, 200 sounds right. How many people be out here making my recipes? Hey, where's my damn flipper? I need my, I forgot my grill utensil inside. It was, it's actually been like four minutes. I was just lazy. I set the alarm to snooze twice. So don't even worry about these. Don't even worry about these. The real money is these. Look at that, look at that. Maybe not that one, that one's bald. That one's bald. All of these, valid. These ain't that bad. These ain't that bad. On camera, it looks dark as in real life, it don't look that dark. Okay? I promise anyway. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. You don't need to worry about nothing. <laughs> don't need to worry about nothing. That sausage is still gonna taste sweet with a little bit of char. Dip. Okay, I made sure to come out on the first alarm this time, so yeah, nothing to worry about. We're in control. Have a look at that guy. Right there, he's looking delicious. This, I swear to you, is Antonia's favorite chicken, and that girl can eat. She can eat some of this delicious chicken, and I'll tell you what, no, I don't blame her. I posted this recipe on my shorts, on my Instagram, and everyone loves it, and it's just delicious because it's so simple. And it really turns grilled chicken and like maximizes and maximizes what grilled chicken should be. That is the ethos of what grilled chicken is. Peak the pinnacle. Got my barbecue sauce, and we're generously bra basting, not bracing, on the chicken. Just like we're painting a picture. And that is our final two minutes to cook this chicken up. Your sauce should uh, just mirror your reflection and then that's done. Taking all these off and I'm so ready. Uh, you guys have no idea how ready I am for this. For cleaning, I blast this on high 10 minutes and then give it a scrub. Okay, it's a bit of a late one today, but the hot crust buns are finally done. And oh man, oh man, they look good. They look the best I've ever made them, so that's always a plus. Look at that, the crosses aren't perfect, but this is a perfect, it's a little bit sticky from the glaze, but look at that. Some chocolate titty buns. Oh, yum. This is like, reminds me of the food that you get in like RPG games and stuff. Chocolate crust buns. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll prop you up. Our chocolate cross buns are done. This looks like something you'll have in an RPG game, so shout out to everyone. This bite is for you. Mmm, mmm. Yum, yum, yum. These are so fucking good. These are so, so, so good. Guys, I completely forgot the tradition. Even though these are not traditional buns, but we gotta have some real butter. Chuck it in the middle. I bet you it's gonna be even better. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Way better than the traditional. Way better, way, way, way better. I've had absolutely enough. We finished late, well, I finished late. But the hot cross buns, how aesthetic were they? I'll chuck a picture up, a little, um, with what I look like with the hot cross buns. Picture perfect, aesthetic as any. And whenever I have choripan, I love uh, pork. 
and I have some mustard, sauerkraut, tomato sauce, or this is actually ketchup. Do you want to be in it or no? Uh, maybe not my PJs. No, and Tony's in her PJs and she's a bit shy, <laughs> but she'll be in it soon, don't worry. What do you have on yours? Just Evo. Balta. Okay. Balta. I've got mustard, Evo, and sauerkraut. A lot of uh, Chilean people love mayo, eh? Mayo on their choripan mm -hmm. or completos. American style hot dogs. Love Chilean people, but completos, no, not so much. This buy is for each and every single one of you guys. Here's my choripan. Can I take the top off? Just go straight for it. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. mm. The actual snake, sweet, beefy, the mayo, not mayo, the avocado is so delicious. The sauerkraut offers just that acidic tang. And then the mustard, you got to have a mustard every time you have any kind of hot dog with cherry bun. Real, real, real happy with that. Here's the star of the show. Oh, I kind of, hopefully it's the star of the show because that chili pan was real good. Barbecue glazed chicken thighs. A real popular recipe of mine. Um, shout out to that lady that commented for times, temps and everything. It's in the video, but if you want it in the comments, just comment. And you got to have the bone as well because it just gives it more of a chickeny flavor. So, here you go. This bias for each and every single one of you guys. Enjoy the recipes I provide, enjoy the content I provide. I'm only getting bigger, so sub up, like up, share to a friend. And your friend, along with you, can have this buy too. Mm. Oh my god. As beyond, as tender as anything. I'm floating. I'm actually floating. Having that chocolate cross bun and then now just this entire meal has made the entire grind today so worth it. It's an underlying sweetness from the orange juice. And if you have stuff lying around, don't be afraid to try it. But use whatever you have in the kitchen and you can make something, you know, probably just as good. But I'm going to leave you all right there. Make sure you like it up, share it to a friend, sub up. And I'll catch you on the next one.